Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today I'll be showcasing the best hipfire loadout in the game featuring the PPSH. This SMG has one of the best attachments which allows you to have different builds like a hipfire build or a fast movement build and even turn it into an SMG assault rifle hybrid. But today I'll be using the hipfire build and there isn't really anything special about this build I just stacked as many hipfire attachments as I could. You can also go for the wild hipfire instead of the no stock but the movement speed and the sprint to fire delay is just too good. Now we're gonna jump straight into the comparison between this build we made today and the most used SMG, the Mac 10. As always, let's start with the fire rate. The PP fires 821 rounds per minute, while the Mac 10 fires 1200 rounds per minute. As for the killing time, we'll be testing against an enemy with 300 HP. And since we're testing SMGs, we'll focus on the killing time within the first two ranges only. So the PP has a better first range from 0 to 10 meters, while the Mac 10's range is 0 to 5 meters. So basically, it's double the range. And right here, you can see the killing time at this range. And as expected, the Mac 10 wins at every single part of the battle except the chest. Moving on to the second range, the PP's range goes from 10 to 16 meters, while the Mac 10's range is only from 5 to 7.5 meters. As for the killing time at the second range, the PP dominates at every part of the body. Next, we have the hipfire accuracy, and we already know that the PP wins easily here. So for the initial hipfire, the PP has 9.6 accuracy, while the Mac 10 has 14.4. As for the max hipfire, the PP reaches a max accuracy of 35.4, while the MAC-10 can reach up to 50.4. And as always, remember that lower number means better accuracy. We also have other important things to compare, starting with the movement speed, in which the MAC-10 wins with 5.26 meters per second, while the PP has a movement speed of 4.88 meters per second. Next, we have the mag size and the reload speed. So the PP has 65 mag capacity while the MAC-10 has 53. But the MAC-10 has faster reload time with 1.09 seconds while the PP reloads within 1.89 seconds. And finally the recoil, which the MAC-10 wins as it's easier to control in both vertical and horizontal recoil. Now that we're done with the comparisons, let's move on to the gameplay. And since Alcatraz gameplay doesn't showcase the build efficiently as airdrops arrive late in the game, I'm gonna show you three squad wipes first using today's loadout. And after that, we'll watch a full gameplay where I also use the PP near the end. I hope you guys enjoy. The airdrop is coming. Travel to indicated safe zone. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. Be careful, a poltergeist is active. Drop is coming. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. Airdrop has been delivered. Net call. Major instability detected. Further collapse expected. 
travel to. These guys were pretty good, but I managed to outplay them. So as I was about to push the first enemy since he was low on health, I noticed his teammate covering him from the back. Plus the fact that he was behind cover anyway, which means I'll have to push him from the side, and that would have left me exposed to both of them. That's why I decided to retreat and find cover. And right here, I'm guessing he heard me healing and he told his teammate to push. So I came out of cover for a split second as a bait, just to know what gun he was using. And once I realized he had a BY-15, I just went all out. Now it was time to pick my PP loadout and I made a little tweak to this build. So I removed the Russell grip and replaced it with the wild hipfire perk, which basically improves the hipfire accuracy when you slide and jump. And to be honest, it was unnecessary because the build already had an insane accuracy. I just wanted to test the difference.
So let's answer the final question. Which SMG is better? And as lame as it may sound, I'd say both on this one. Each of them can be efficient based on your gameplay style. So you can use the Mach 10 if you're reckless and find yourself always hugging your enemies at 5 meters range. But if you want to outplay and outsmart shotgun enemies, then the PPSH is the perfect counter. The best hipfire accuracy, a good range, a good killing time, and basically a max size of an LMG. It just has a bit of everything. And if you want a more efficient build, then I suggest using the MIP laser instead of the RTC. Just to get that extra sprint to fire delay, which will allow you to have a slightly better killing time. Because honestly, you don't need all this hipfire accuracy. I just did it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, then kindly leave a like on your way out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, my God.